For this one, we are taking a look at Proto's account. He is much actually of a beginner account, so this is going to help a lot of people. So we're mostly focusing on world progressing, such as defense, accuracy, and damage, because I'm sure all of you need to know it. And uh, I mean, it definitely will help out everybody. So to start off, we have a 104 Blood Berserker. We have a ES. We have a Hunter, a Bowman, a Shaman, a DK, a Beginner, a warrior and a squire so right off the get-go without even having to look at the account i would strongly suggest getting all elite classes this is, should be your first priority getting all elite classes is going to be very good and it's also just something that you want to do let's take a quick look at the ovals here I don't think you're really at the point where you need to do ovals, so we can stay away from that for the most part. I really need, let's see, take a look at your cards. Cards are actually not looking half bad. But as your skill pushing, we're just making sure that you have the specific ones that you need. I see, okay. So your cards are kind of all over the place. What is the activity that you're doing? Demon genies, green mushrooms, gigafrogs, gigafrogs, gold, sandy pots, small fish, sheepies. Okay, well... Your hunter should be pushing towards demon genies. Your shaman should be pushing to demon genies. Your bowman should be pushing to demon genies. So I think you should take everyone else and start having the farm for demon genies. I would probably start working towards having your cards set up with chaotic amrock if you have it. Uh, definitely towards AFK gains and damage for the most part. And I mean, if you really need, you can run things that give you accuracy percent, like sand castles, for instance or even wood mushrooms if you're really starting to struggle on being able to hit those. Definitely be helpful. And I know you want to start farming the cards out, but I just don't think you're quite ready to farm cards because you're still busy pushing. I would focus more on pushing rather than focusing on cards just for the time being. Once you start hitting world five, then you can start worrying about that stuff. How's the skills looking? Skills are not looking half bad. I would say at least get your characters. Get your characters to at least gold tools. If you can, that'll definitely be good for you for stat sticks. Of course, stat sticks are most important thing in the game. Take a look at the equipment here. Yeah, so you're missing out a couple stat sticks here, a bunch of stat sticks here. So iron or gold, either or, is going to be super beneficial for you because you definitely want to get those going. And also, you want to get out of these cardboard traps, get out of the wax skulls because I feel like a lot of people sleep on how strong early game tools are. Tools are freaking disgusting. Especially since you're in World 4, everything could be in a substat, so you could just start piling in. Uh, for your armor, what you could do is while you're pushing World 4, is you're, you are running full Dementia, so that's actually really good. So continue getting full Dementia. Uh, get full Dementia. And then I also see that you're, you also have your Serrated Rex Rings, so super, super good job on that. Uh, serrated, finishing off the Serrated Rex Rings. And then although you want to start working on, I mean, you could probably go for a Camrock Pendant at this point, or Camrock Pendant, or you can also go towards the Bludgeon and start getting your Bludgeon going. And then eventually, uh, your rings are going to end up being Tenacity rings. You want to get Tenacity as soon as possible. Because the Tenacity will just start being better than the Serrated Rex rings, because the Serrated Rex rings are really strong early game, but then definitely need to be upgraded. And also, while you're at it, definitely put some upgrades, upgrade stones into your serrated Rex rings. I think it's time. I think I think since you're world four, there's no problem. Throw that in there. And then you got mostly glacial weapons for the rest. That's pretty good. I mean, also get your other characters, uh, get other characters leveled. So you can get, so you can get more characters. Definitely want something that you want. More characters, better. Because that means more oval slots. That means the more ability to get everything that you need to get done. Because in this game, only focusing on one character is bad. You want to focus on all 10. I know most people just hard farm that, but that's what I suggest. Now if we go here. So right off the bat, you only have one star sign. So let's work on our star signs. Work on star signs. I have, I have a couple of video guides for that as well. Uh, at least unlock Cronus, which is your two times, which is your two star signs that you can equip at all times. 
So once you start getting that, get Cronus, and, and then you can start working on things like getting the Forsaken running, so you get more AFK gains, or even start working towards Hydrons to start getting some total damage percent, or even some uh, movement speed, or sorry, not movement speed, drop rate, or even some mob respawn. And getting that rolling, that will just be something that you want to tackle. So Star Science is going to be super, super huge for you. Probably not working too much on the post office, post office, but you are working on skilling boxes. That's good. I'd love to see that. Skilling boxes are very, very important. So for the most part, that's basically all you can go with. So we'll stick with that for now. So, of course, obviously, let's take a look at dungeons. Your dungeon is actually looking really good. I really like the look of your dungeons. You got good weapon power, good talent points. Keep on doing that. Accuracy, defense. You're doing a lot better than some other people I see, so definitely keep on working. Uh, keep on working to Flurbos. Getting that max as soon as possible. Rank 35, you only have two boosted runs. So that's this is the reason why you can't keep on doing this is because you have boosted runs. I'd rather see you only have two boosted runs rather than seeing you have 3,000 boosted runs and you're only level 10. And the reason why dungeons are so important because these are literally like the easiest ways to get stuff like accuracy, defense, AFK gains, talent points, and also weapon power. Because look at this, 41% defense, max is 50%, 50% accuracy, that's massive. AFK gains, it goes up to 5%. I think it might be a little bit higher. And then even weapon power. All of this is just add talent points. Because if you guys didn't know, at level 50, each each point is actually considered multiple. So you can get one talent point, tab one, tab two, tab three, and star talent points. So you can get way more talent points than you actually think. And also, it's really hard to get star talent points. So this makes it even better. And the reason why booster runs... So basically what booster runs are for the people that don't know is booster runs make it so you're able to roll up to a maximum of six dice per run rather than only to if you had no booster runs, you're only allowed to roll one die and you get way less credits. So it's just basically it's your it's your ticket to entry for for actual gains. OK, so let's take a look here. How's your merits looking? Made thing. This get this maxed. Hemoglobin needs to be maxed. This is your biggest thing. Hemoglobin needs maxed. Because if you guys don't know, the majority of your survivability in any of this game is probably going to be coming from hemoglobin. Because hemoglobin just is just the extra little top because it's lifesteal. Every kill gives you percent health back. It is basically just lifesteal for every character, which is super OP. It also increases your survivability, so it's even more important. Take a look at World 2 merits. Okay, that's fine. World 3. Yep. Yeah. All right. All this is fine. And then you don't have any World 4. I mean, you're starting to cook World 4. Uh, for World 4, I would definitely consider doing uh, Hyperion Nebula first, just because Mob Respawn is a little bit better than Connection Range. That's just me. And then, and then if anything, before even you do Mob Respawn, no bubble left behind, because once you start getting no bubble left behind, that's where a lot of love's going to come in. So let's take a look here. So your bribes, hey, your bribes are all looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty much good for the most part. I mean, I, I'm taking a guess it's just a money issue at this point, so no big deal. Take a look what your stamps are. So you have currently at 670 stamp levels. And you're currently level four. You could get that stamp pretty easily. Get that stamp pretty easily. That stamp pretty easily. That stamp. Okay, so definitely want to start doing your stamp farm. I would say stamp farm. All the easy ones. World 1 to World 3. You can check the wiki which ones drop. Focus on World 1 to World 3 stamps. Get those done because you already have the bribe for it. And go for a 2,000 average. And I would say focus focus, uh, focus damage. Focus da uh, combat tab. People, people hard, hard, hard sleep on stamps. Big time. Like super sleep. It's crazy how much they sleep on this. Let's take a look at World 2. Let's take a look at the bubbles here. So, okay, so you're not really focusing on alchemy. Alchemy, yeah, okay. So alchemy is pretty rough when it comes into the grand scheme of things. So, I mean, just basically just hard focus alchemy. Hard, hard focus alchemy, so hard. Focus alchemy, mainly FMJ Shackercy, as you're already doing, but def definitely get it more. And then also, if you're looking for a little bit more damage, you could focus things like uh, Britley Spears, Bojack, and Maddie Statford, although they cost 
uh, as, although they cost salts and souls, it's still worth it. And frogs, it's still worth it to get it a little bit going just for that extra little bit of damage percent. Even if it's only like 5% each, it's better than no percent because you can easily get like 15% from that without really even trying. Like, look, even just for what, level one, it's almost a percent. So that's definitely going to be good for you. Oh, so it doesn't hurt to put it maybe a couple in quick slap, a couple in name, I guess, just to get that base damage to help scaling the total damage percent as well. So. Definitely, definitely want to start going with that. And I mean, obviously, keep on locking bubbles with your Shaman with bubble breakthrough. It's going to be easier to do once you get Bubonic Conjure because the levels are just going to get better. Vials, I mean, just keep on unlocking vials. Unlocking vials is going to be every day. Just do that as much as you can. There's not much you can do about it because you're kind of at that point of pushing where you're kind of in that awkward state where you can't really get high 3D prints, which means you can't really push the stuff that you want to push. So it's just more or less better to like focus on like the small games such as like Flurbo Shop and Stamped until you get to that point and like a little bit of Alchemy Bubbles just until you get to that point because you'll get passive upgrades from other stuff anyways. Uh, we don't really need to take a look at Islands. Islands are going to be basically irrelevant for you at this point. Well, let's take a look at your printer here. Yeah, I'd like this. Like 2.55k on Copper, 1.7. I mean, you're still working. I mean, I'm still impressed. I mean, you're still working greatly on your... Uh, 3D print checklist. I mean, just, just get your other characters to start printing. Other characters to print. It's going to be important. And uh, also at the same time, work on printer percent. Printer percent is huge. You can see how much printer percent you have on a character. If you take a look at your skill tab and look in your construction, this will tell you on your percent that you have. You're currently sitting at like 19.7%, 20% on average. It's kind of low. But I mean, are you? the real question is, are you running? Royal Sampler. Okay, so getting Acorn Assault done as soon as possible to start getting Royal Sampler. Huge. Absolutely huge. This is definitely something that you want. Royal Sampler will help you every day of the week. Obviously, you can't do skill demo it right away, but even unlocking at level one will give you like 13% right off the get-go. This is, this is just going to be chef's kiss. Refinery, rank four, rank four, three. Like I said as well, join the Discord. Check out the Idle Index. Take a look at the uh, perpetual motion for endless cycle of refinery, just to make sure that you don't really screw yourself on this, because then you have to work on paying attention and turning off your refineries, and you won't be able to autopilot it. Because let's be honest, it's an idle AFK game. What we aim to do is to make everything idle as possible, so it's just automated, so then we can just forget and worry about other stuff. So this is definitely something that you don't want to overkill, because you can get into that area where it is, you can already see here, it's inactive. You're not going to be able to run your hourlies and all that stuff. So it's, it's you're, not, you're not really able to keep up your out upkeep because it takes 40 here, but it costs 48 per hour. Same with here. You make 24 an hour, but it costs you 32 an hour. So your perpetual motion isn't really happening. Does it, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Buildings, working on a 3D printer. Great, that's done. Salt lick, awesome. Chest space, definitely want a hard farm chest space. You can never have enough chest space. Uh, automation arm, definitely want to work on that for sure. Don't work on the Attic Collider. Just, uh, just take that off. Not worth it. D not, not worth it. Do not, yeah, just, just don't, just don't even. Oh, don't even focus on it. What you should be focusing on is you should be focusing on your boulder rollers. Get your boulder rollers going because they're nice and cheap. They're not too bad. Your frozen balloons, storm callers, crack and cosplayers, party starters. And then eventually work on Poisonic Elders and your Voidinators because you need to start working on Souls ASAP. That's where you're at at this point. And if you can, try to get at least level one of these shrines to start getting the place so you can start getting them leveled. Especially things like the Crescent Shrine and also the Clover Shrine. Death Note. I mean, I don't really see much happening with the Death Note. You're currently at Donuts and Demon Genies. So like you're just getting into your elite classes. So this is a really good spot. So when you're pushing, for instance, since you are starting to push worlds, what you want to do here is you want to put put all characters in lab, okay? Put all characters in lab until they connect to Killer Brightside, okay? And then push with DK. Now, what this does is since you're in World 4 here with lab, Killer Brightside Gives all monster kills count for two times more than normal for like opening portals and for death note. 
This is important for you not only pushing to elite class, but also pushing to world five. Because it used to be is you just focused on lab while you're in world five or world four. This doesn't work anymore. You start focusing on lab and divinity when you head into world five. So you want to definitely start juicing up your DK. That's your character that you want to focus because the reason why you want to focus on DK is because he is the easiest person person to push actively without needing a lot of funding. Because Divine Intervention only requires one point in order to get his respawn skill at 100% potency. So, that's why we like to push on DK. Also, he also doubles defense, so he requires way less armor for survivability. And also, he could build accuracy quite fast, which is also really good for that as well. So then, and then once you're in cooking, you know, you're focusing on eggs right now. That's perfect. Like I said before, uh, you're going to be focusing on eggs. You want to get corn dogs, cabbage, get those going. That's going to help definitely with your movement speed big time. Uh, so you're right now with eggs, you're kind of in like a really, really low place right now where you're just kind of just getting into world four. It looks like you're not, you, you basically just beat world three, like, like last week. Okay. You just killed cheese or last week. And now you're in world four. You just got your first couple of elite classes. And now you're just like, okay, I got my first four elite classes. Now, what do I do? It's exactly where you're at in this point in time. And that's, that's going forward. That's going to help you greatly. Now, when it comes to construction, you're looking good here. Are you running full XP percent? Okay, you, for, for sure, run full XP percent. XP percent in COGS over anything else. And then, I don't know if you want to keep everybody in there for construction. You don't want to put some people in COGS, but... I mean, it's no, no big deal. So basically what you want to do is when you're in, when you're in the cog board, you just want to uh, click on the little eyeball at the top, make sure it says XP percent, and then you want to take a look, bigger XP, you replace something with no XP, unless it's your booster cogs. These booster cogs, if they're giving you XP percent, they're giving you build rate, they're giving you flag rate, don't replace them, okay? That's the only thing that you don't want to replace. And also, you could go also go to the cog, and you could optimize it for player XP rate, and you can have it optimized to help you give you a little bit more love with what you have currently on your board. How's your traps looking? You're still looking on cardboard traps. So what I would do is if you, if you don't know, okay, a really good thing that you can do, this also works with worship, is you, you know those small balloons that you have, those little green small balloons? Well, you can actually take those to an area of worship and you can actually use them while you're in a tower defense. So you can easily get up to like level 30 on a character with those green balloons. Or if you're standing on a trap, say for instance, you're standing on the frog traps, you can consume balloons in order to level up your traps as well. So the faster, if you can push to nature traps with your V-Man, that's ultimately what you're going to want to do. And also, Uncle Roger doesn't have a trap, so you should probably get on that. Because also, if you build uh, the trapper drone, which you do, which is huge, you can actually place your maestros, transfusion, place nature traps, but your other characters don't need the nature traps in order to be placed. The traps with the trapper drone only requires higher tier traps if you want to place more traps, but you could still use nature traps on the other characters. So you can actually get, still get those nature traps XP without needing to have the nature traps. So you want to do that. So I would say uh, get. Maestro up to nature traps uh, through balloons. That'll just that'll just that'll just rush it big time. And then Salt Lake, obviously going to work on that, all that stuff. So I think I think this is enough for you before we start overwhelming you. So this is what I want you to work on for the time being. This is definitely going to help you push and get get you started. So. Getting all elite classes, this is definitely going to be the first one you want to get. Getting all elite classes is super huge. Also, it gives you levels. Also, it gives you more talent points. Also, helps you push more. Also, helps to get you better 3D prints because higher level, more talent points. Yeah, yeah. Get all characters to at least, I, I say gold, but ideally, you only need to get to the iron. Iron tools, get them some substats, get them some accuracy, because although you can hit stuff in World 4, I guarantee by the time you get to the end of World 4, you're not going to be able to hit anything. So definitely get substats on that, on your tools makes things easy. You can even do that with your armor as well if you really want to, because World 4 stones prioritize your primary stat. So if you're a warrior and you need more, more accuracy, you just make sure to do all the upgrades on a wizard, 
and then you transfer those pieces over to your warrior. Now your barbarian or your blood berserker is running full wisdom gear. So he's getting, so that's also stockpiling on your shakracy. Getting full dementia, serrated rex rings, camrock pennant, or bludgeon, and then eventually moving on to the tenacity rings. Get other characters leveled so you can have more characters. This is very important. More characters equal better person. Work on star signs, at least Cronus for the two star signs. Start getting your star signs going. You mess out on tons of things like damage percent, uh, mob respawn, AFK gains, things like that. Keep on working on Flurbos. You're almost done your Flurbo grind. So just keep on working on your Flurbo grind. You'll get there soon enough. Hemoglobin. Do a merit shop thing to get your last hemoglobin upgrade so you can get 50 out of 50. This is helping with survivability. You need this big time. Stamp farm to an average of 2,000, but focus on your combat tab because you want to push to world five as soon as possible. Focus alchemy, such as FMJ, Shakrasy, Matty Statford, Britley Spears. Start building up the damage percent. And also keep on with, you're doing a good job by keeping up your defense and also your accuracy. Unlocking vials. Just keep on unlocking vials and trying to get them to level four because level four will help you greatly with your shaman's damage that will eventually be bubonic conjurer other characters to print work on printer percent you know you're missing a couple of printers want to get that going get that you know get them all equipped get that get that happening try to and then unlock unlock royal sampler as soon as possible as well so you get that extra like 13 percent printer sample Put all characters in lab until they connect to Killer Brightside and the push with DK. Like I was saying before, you want to connect to Killer Brightside for two times kills. This will make it faster for elite classes. Also be faster for pushing because two times kills is two times kills. Full XP percent for cogs. You always want to prioritize XP percent for cogs. That'll definitely be very important for you. And I definitely take a look at your construction board a little bit because your construction board could use optimization. And then get Maestro up to nature traps through balloons. So then you can equip the nature traps and then you can use the transfusion on the Maestro and put it on all the other guys to help boost up the trapping because the faster you get trapping done, the better everything will be. So those are the things I want you to work on. Good luck, my dude, and happy grinding.